Below these fields on the outskirts of Tokyo, through a door behind a government building, sits a remarkable feat of engineering. An elaborate complex and a massive tunnel aimed at preventing widespread flooding in this low-lying area. Takashi Komiyama explains to us how the system works. A tunnel running more than six kilometers or nearly four miles connects five underground shafts that collect water from above. And how big are these shafts or tanks? They're about 70 meters or about 230 feet deep. To put that into perspective, that's big enough to fit a space shuttle or the body of the Statue of Liberty. At the heart of the system are these, four turbines powered by jet engines, similar to those used on a Boeing 737. When set in motion, they can drain the equivalent of a 25-meter swimming pool in one second, able to funnel water from the tunnel and tanks to a nearby river. The system cost roughly three billion U.S. dollars to construct, and it's been used nearly 70 times over the past 10 years. As you can see, the size of this complex is simply staggering. It is something that few major cities could ever really accommodate underground. The room I'm standing in right now is bigger than a soccer pitch and more than five stories high. And when we asked Takashi about the flooding in the United States, he recognizes this system is built to cope with heavy rains, not a storm surge off the ocean. Still, the idea could help engineers think about what may be possible when it comes to trying to contain Mother Nature. Alex Zolbert, CNN, Saitama Prefecture, Japan.